Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Invest Today, and in today's video, we are talking about Li Lu. So Li Lu this quarter actually sold off all of his meta stock, surprisingly, after this huge drop, man. I can't believe he actually sold after this huge drop. Is it tax loss harvesting? We need to figure out why he did this. There's so many questions because after a 50% drop plus, then you decide to sell off your meta stock? We gotta figure this out, we gotta understand why he did this, even though we know it's impossible. We're gonna come up with theories, different reasons why. Do you think it was justified for Li Lu to sell all of his Meta stock? Guys, he replaced Meta with Google. With Google. Even though Google is an amazing stock, do you think Google is as cheap as Meta right now? But Meta, eh. We can all agree that Google is a better business overall, but still, man, selling off 50% and then putting all your money into Google. Guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm always providing us with so much new content. So let's look at all the activity that Li Lu did. Li Lu bought a lot of Google this quarter. He got 7% of the C shares and then he got the regular shares at 5% of his portfolio. His holdings is 1.8 billion and this is just the American side of it. We know he has a lot of international stocks in China, everywhere else. Think about it. People are saying he has like a $20 billion portfolio. So this 1.8 is not really significant in the grand scheme of things. He has a way bigger portfolio than this. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're seeing 5% position of his portfolio. It really isn't 5%. But still, we're going to see the activity. So he sold all of his meta stock, man, at 8% position, but probably closer to 4 or 3% of his overall uh, portfolio. And he was willing to take a 50% loss. So that just shows you he was really bearish on meta after the earnings call the earnings call told you everything that was happening with meta at that point and he was buying that quarter q4 2021 around 300 320 all the way to december 30th to like 344 so this huge drop is like a what 50 percent plus like come on man so he was willing to take that loss so his thesis might have changed. So do you think his thesis changed? Remember, Facebook came out and said they're taking a $10 billion hit through the challenges that they're facing with the new Apple rules and the security privatization issues. So the CEO or the CFO came out and said they're taking that hit right there. Increased competition from TikTok maybe too, which, man, it's we don't know how that's going to play out. And the competition is real and it's showing through the results and how Facebook is struggling more. Do you think he's less bullish on the whole metaverse? Because the metaverse was a thing before he invested in it. Is he seeing that as more of a challenge this quarter? And he doesn't like how much they're spending on uh, Oculus and the metaverse? Is it that? Or is it tax loss harvesting? Take all the losses that he got from Meta. And the income that he generated from selling BYD, because I'm pretty sure he sold a lot of BYD, he can kind of offset that right now. So is it that? There's so many different reasons. But in my theory, and I'm saying this as a Meta shareholder, I still believe Meta has such a strong position in the market with Instagram and with WhatsApp. It doesn't really matter what they spend on the metaverse at this point, because Instagram and WhatsApp, I think, are going to carry it. And even Facebook, they're looking to actually monetize more with their marketplace on Facebook. That's a huge opportunity. They're looking into generate business leads with WhatsApp so you can contact businesses. And then Instagram, Reels has become more dominant in Instagram and the monetization rate is going to just increase over time. And if you're looking on Instagram right now and using Instagram, you can see the ads actually working right now. Like it's so completely different when Apple did the whole security thing. Uh, it's way different now. I'm seeing a complete like 360. The ads are actually working because they're using more AI. So with all of that, I still think Meta has a huge opportunity. It's selling so cheap right now. I still think it's a 250, 300 plus company easily, especially when the economy turns and people start spending more on ads. When people start spending more on ads, there is nowhere else to go with social media. It's only Facebook, 
pretty much is only Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Where else are you going to spend on social media ads? Like, there's nowhere else to go. So that's how I know when the whole economy switches, when people start spending more money. Think about it. The GDP of America, of Canada, like, all of these countries, Europe, people are not spending right now. They're not spending on ads. So when they start spending on ads... When the economy starts picking up again, which it eventually always will, we're going to see companies in the ad space just take off. Even YouTube ads weren't doing as well this quarter, so it's affecting everyone. But that's going to recharge again once spending picks up with all these advertisements. So I'm not worried about the whole shifting in TikTok because there's nowhere else to go. It's only Instagram or TikTok. You can spend equally on both, and they're both going to generate crazy amount of income once the advertisement spend picks up. And advertisement spend is always going to pick up again once the economy booms again. So I'm not really worried about that, in my opinion. So guys, what do you think about Lilu selling Meta? There's so many reasons. Is it tax house harvesting? Is it TikTok? Is it that Apple privacy challenges? Is it because they're spending more on Metaverse and the spend is just way too much for Lee Lu? Is it like, what? What is it, man? So guys, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and get back to you in the next video.